So every time I make one of these cheese videos, I always get told that I need to try the Daya cutting board shreds. Supposedly the Daya, Daya, however you pronounce it, let me know in the comments below. Supposedly that is one of the new best vegan cheese is on the market. Now I haven't found it. I haven't been able to, it hasn't been around in my grocery stores that I've seen. I haven't really looked for it that much, but I took a look at the ingredients of this thing and I just think I need to make it. So let's talk about the secret recipe for Daya cutting board shreds. What makes this stuff so good? It's actually pretty easy and it involves a potato. So the Daya cutting board shreds includes Filtered water, tapioca starch, coconut oil, expeller pressed canola and or safflower oil. Vegan natural flavors, what the heck does that even mean? Chickpea protein, salt, potato protein, tricalcium phosphate, lactic acid, konjac gum, xanthan gum, yeast extract, and then a, f a few other fruits and fruits and vegetable juices. So if you watch the show, most of those ingredients you're pretty familiar with, and I have most of those ingredients here. They're ingredients that you can order. I'll leave some links in the description below where you can find them. Most of them you can get right off of Amazon or at Modernist Pantry. Now I have here a potato. I also have a bowl of some potato starch. This is potato starch that I didn't order. It's just starch from a potato that I already worked with. And this here because I wanted to give it some more time. So I actually did a potato protein extract extraction, very similar to how I did the mung bean extraction. Essentially what I did was I grated the potato, washed it in water, let the starches rinse off, and then drained it and kept the starches aside, like what you see here. Then after that, I blended the potato into like a potato juice or potato milk, very similar to how we did our how to milk everything video, and then ran that through a filter. I then took that potato juice and added a baking soda, stirred it really well, heated it up to about 85 degrees, and then added an acid to allow this to participate. The acid that I used was simply a white vinegar, just a distilled vinegar. That white vinegar allowed the proteins to separate themselves from the rest of this potato juice, and there should be about two grams of potato protein across the bottom of this dark brown jar here. So let's get moving. I'm not gonna do anything with this potato. I already made everything that I needed. So there is, I didn't allow this to sit long enough. So there is some protein still kind of hanging out at the top and there's a lot at the bottom. So I'm just gonna slowly pour this mixture off and almost all of this liquid, potatoes don't have like a ton of protein on their own, so almost all of this liquid's gonna get poured out. Now this here should be just a mixture of the protein. There might be a little bit of starches left in it, but it's mostly just the protein with some of that juice. Now, if we were to let this sit even longer, we can probably get some more proteins. So at this point, I'm gonna add everything to a blender. We're gonna measure everything out. So the first thing I wanna get started with is the starches. So we need about five grams of potato starch, which I don't believe we have. Oh, we do, we actually have about seven grams. So it's gonna work out perfect. His total, I wanted about 80 something grams of starch, about 85 grams of starch. I was gonna do mostly tapioca starch, but having this extra potato starch is gonna be really nice. We need to do about 78 grams of tapioca starch. We're just gonna add that right to this and bring it up to that 85 mark. Now we wanna move to our gums. We're gonna be using a xanthan gum and konjac gum. We just recently used konjac gum in our vegan fish. Konjac gum, I've used it in the past to create very stretchy things. Konjac gum is a very stretchy, very pliable, very firm product. So this is gonna work really well. In total, we want about eight grams of konjac gum, and about one gram of xanthan gum. Now our taste, the thing that makes mozzarella taste really mozzarella-y is the fact that it kind of goes a little sour. So we're gonna be doing a few different acids. We're gonna be doing a lactic acid, which I've used before on my vegan cheeses. We need about a half of a gram for that. Now the Daya shreds used a yeast extract. We're gonna do two things to get that glutamate. We're gonna be using a nutritional yeast. We're gonna be doing about eight grams of nutritional yeast. And if you have it, this is really gonna up that, that flavor. We're gonna be doing about a half of a gram of the mushroom powder, the mushroom extract. Now all in all, we need about less than a gram of protein. So we're only gonna be doing about a half of a gram of the pea protein. Now I'm gonna add the potato protein, but I'm gonna give this just a quick blend up just to kind of quickly mix this all together. Now for our liquid end of this, I just added 250 milliliters of water uh, to the potato protein that I had. We're gonna add about 25 milliliters of safflower oil and about 100 milliliters of melted coconut oil. Now this is your liquid mixture. Now all we're gonna do is just drop the lid on this guy and we're gonna blend it for about a minute straight. It's gonna get pretty gooey if you have a high power blender. It's, it's, it's actually pretty necessary to have a pretty good blender.
And you can see just, I mean, right off the bat. So we're not even done with this, and this is the best looking vegan cheese mixture that I've seen. I mean, just, if you just look at these, they look like cheese curds. And we're not even close yet. We're not even close to being done. Unbelievable. Okay, so I'm just gonna dump this mixture into a saucepan. I'm gonna get a bowl of ice cold water ready. And we're just gonna turn this onto a very low heat, very, very low heat. And we're gonna slowly mix and stir this up to about 175 degrees. That's gonna activate these starches and turn this very nice curd into a stretchy cheese mixture. You've seen me do it before. And as the heat's applied, you're actually seeing a lot of the liquid kind of getting boiled out of this. And you can kind of quickly start to see this get firm and change color and kind of start a stretch here. Okay, so a lot of this is boiling out. This is kind of getting, this is getting pretty smooth to a point it's able to be worked into a smooth ball. I'm actually going to transfer this ball right into the ice cold water. Let's just split this in the two here. Now at this point, these guys need to dry and firm up. I'm just gonna kind of squeeze some water out of them as much as I can. I'm just gonna throw them into a, into a small dish here. Now at this point, I'm gonna let these guys sit in the fridge overnight. I'm gonna let them sit in these little containers for a few hours just to kind of firm up a little bit. Then I'm gonna flip them over and pull these out to just let them dry the rest of the way in the refrigerator. And then tomorrow morning, we'll pull these out and shred them. Okay, these guys have sat overnight. They have firmed up really good. This is probably the firmest that I've seen one of these plant-based cheese get. So let's shred this up, see if it's anything like the Daya cutting board shreds. Because again, I haven't tried those, but I, if this is a pretty good vegan cheese, I could see where people were talking that the Daya cutting board shreds were really good. Really looks like we are. <laughs> like some really nice looking shreds. I mean, I mean, this looks like a, like a straight up mozzarella cheese here. So, you know, at this point, I just want to try something really quick. I just have a piece of pita bread here. Some sauce that I made the other night, just some regular marinara, nothing special here. And I just wanna see how well this stuff, if it melts, if we got a nice cheese at the end, like what it's going to turn into. But God, I'll tell you, it just looks wonderful right here. Without anything else, this looks wonderful. <laughs> I mean, that looks like a nice cheesy pizza. Look at that. So I'll be honest, I, I put this in a little too long. I put it on the broiler to kind of like see if I can help melt that cheese a little bit. That's a pizza, that's pretty good. I'm pretty excited about that. That is really good. Mm. It got melty, got crispy, it got bubbly. So that's it. I think that's the secret to the Daya cutting board shreds. I would add some salt to the cheese. I think that's something that I left out. I meant to add salt to the cheese. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with that. Mm, my God. The perfect plant-based cheese shred. Nailed it. Mm.